So you have your ear on the side of our head, and you've got your ear canal, which is a tube. At the end of the tube, there's a membrane or the eardrum. On the other side of that eardrum is an air-filled space called the middle ear. So when we talk about ear infections, you're talking about infections of any of those spaces or areas. But the most common thing that we're dealing with with infections with little kids is called otitis media, and that's an infection of that air-filled space behind the eardrum. Kids are more predisposed to get ear infections than adults because of one key thing, and that's our eustachian tube, which is a little muscular tube that connects the back of the nose to the middle ear. Kids have little short, flat eustachian tubes, so they don't work as well. And if they don't work as well, what happens is that middle ear space becomes sort of like a little space under negative pressure. And that negative pressure is our problem child. That's what allows bacteria and viruses and all the goop that we collect in our nose when we get a bad cold. It gets into the ear and causes an ear infection. An ear tube basically is putting a small hole temporarily in the eardrum and keeping it open with a little small piece of plastic. Recurring ear infections can cause hearing damage if you don't treat them appropriately. If you treat them appropriately, in most cases, everything is gonna be fine. But if you leave things untreated, oftentimes you can get recurring problems like chronic changes to the ear, which can lead to hearing loss and things like holes in the eardrum and things like that. I get asked a lot by parents whether chiropractors can help with ear infections. And my simple answer is chiropractors can do a lot of great things for bone and joint pain. They can't do anything for ear infections.